In this video, we will cover the quotation form. Select the Forms tab, then select Add, then select New Quotation. You'll see that we have fields to enter in the title for our quote. In this case, Cave Creek Quotation. A Customer Field. job site information, when we are done with our customer and site information, we can then click the next button to continue working on our quote form. In this view, we can adjust what data will be shown on our quotation form, such as adding in labor, removing subtotals, and showing our add-on prices. We can also include our tax rate and break our labor and freight into separate groups. We can also set our tax rate in the drop down. To add a new item, simply click Add New and Edit Item. You can enter in SKU information, color codes, trade, and price. When done, click OK. We can also adjust our column view to show what will show on our quotation form. For example, we can remove our cost price, markup, and margin from our document if this is for a customer, or leave those fields if it's an internal document. All of our changes in the columns view will be shown in this table. We can also set our price, markup, and margin on set percentages, such as adjusting our markup to 40%. Note that our totals will change. We also have the option to adjust our pricing based on a set profit margin. In this example, 40%. If we click Finish, you'll see that we have now generated our quotation form. We have a signature field where if we click the Sign button under the Details menu, we can print the name of our customer and capture a digital signature below. Once the signature has been captured, click the OK button. You'll see that the signature now appears on the quotation form. To convert a quotation into an invoice, click the Convert to Invoice button on the tool menu. You'll see that we have now generated an invoice with the information from our quotation form. We can also capture a signature and enter in any instruction information by using those buttons in the details field. In the next video, we will cover how to print or email our report.